What's up Simon, it's welcome to a new vlog episode. I don't know if you know this feeling, sometimes when I go out for a run, I start to run and then I also start to think about the distance I want to go, the way and all the routes I want to uh, go through. Immediately, just after a few hundred meters, my legs feel super heavy and I just lose all the motivation because I think about all the distance, the kilometers that I have to run. And what I realized is that this is actually the same for side projects because sometimes you have a great idea, you go out, you start and then you start to think about all the things that you want to do. And while running I really sometimes think that I will just stop and go back home. But there's a solution to this that I want to talk with you about today and I want to give you some clear actionable advice plus a revelation of the prototype that I have built after uh, finding this little truth. So here we go. Alright, I hope I haven't lost you with that analogy of running, but that's just when I got the idea and actually also when I started to work on the project again. Perhaps if you're watching this vlog regularly, you might remember when I was super motivated last year about a new idea that I had. To have a template generator for Ionic. That's the, the broad picture. Apparently after the initial video, I just worked on a few parts for a very short time and then the holiday season came and other projects and other tasks and I basically lost the motivation to get back into this project because I knew there was a lot really a lot of things difficult things that I had to figure out to build a simple first version which should be simple and just like a minimum uh, working version but still there was really a lot to do to actually cover this way. Worrying about all the things you have to build to get to a first version is the best way to completely lose motivation and interest in your project. In order to overcome this, my recommendation for you is to focus on one aspect at a time. When I go for a run and get these feelings, I just try to focus on the way in front of me, focus on every step and don't think about all the way that I still have to go. This really helps to just get going. The same happens for a project. Once you start with one feature and finish it, you will get a lot of traction to build the next feature and the next feature and this just builds up momentum and you really become motivated again just by starting with one small piece of the project. To explain this even better, let me show you what I did with my project. The initial idea, if you don't remember it, was to generate an Ionic project based on a configuration with some entities, perhaps styling, perhaps uh, authentication and different pages. But I really uh, condensed this to a super small first version. And to get to there, I had a few elements that I wanted to prove to myself that these things actually could work. So I always want to do a proof of concept on my ideas. And the critical path in my project was to generate a project basically on the server side based on some sort of configuration or database entries and export this in a working version to a user. This project contained a lot of unknowns for me that I had to get into. So I just started with really small pieces. I first of all tried to figure out how to make child processes work with Node to execute stuff on the command line. I then got into how to build a job queue so everything runs just in the background and multiple users could simply trigger this and not block the application. Then I knew it was time to get into Angular schematics based on your recommendation. Thanks for this again. That was actually the step that uh, took the most of the time because I feared to get into Angular schematics. But once I got started with Angular schematics, I was able to generate the services and files based on some input. I then moved into creating this configuration file from the server and then I moved into defining the objects in my database and then I finally moved into creating creating a web application to trigger this API and to make everything work together. When I tell you this story in a few seconds it actually sounds easy but you can be sure it wasn't easy. But once you get this first small win like uh, achieving something with a new uh, piece like Angular schematics that you haven't used before and you see that it actually is possible you just get new fire for your idea and you just want to move forward to the next step and to the next step and whenever you finish one feature you know that you're moving closer to the end. 
you don't have to think about the full solution and what I did so far is really not a minimum viable product, but I would say a minimum ugly version, so a muff perhaps. Break down your project in really super small things that are critical to your idea, to your mission. Perhaps it's a specific data write connecting to AWS or anything like this. And just prove to yourself that certain parts will work. Once you achieve them, uh, you will become a lot more motivated for the idea in general and you will move to the final goal of your first minimum ugly version. So here it is. All right, here's my minimum ugly version for you. You can find it at kickoffionic.com. I would love to get your feedback if you're using Ionic on this project. So really quickly showing you what's going on. Right now you can only get started with Firebase. Simply paste in your configuration, which will bring up the editor for your project. You can now go ahead and create uh, an entity. You can add fields like name and name label and multiple other fields, of course, as well. You can then add more entities. Let's just call this one um, perhaps book and whatever title is book title. Based on these things, the entities that you define here, we will in the end create an export of your project. There's currently no layout, no authentication and no theme that is planned for the future as well. So once you enter your email and click export, you will quite fast actually receive an export that looks like this. Inside the project, once you've unzipped it, you can simply run npm install and ionic serve to serve your application. It comes with capacitor support and if you look at the source, you will find within the pages exactly the entities you defined plus a details page for all of them. Also services for each of them and these services are now connected to Firebase and if I close this you will also see that they have all the basic CRUD functionalities including um, the type that we created right here the book and the user interface to directly work with Firebase. So everything is set up. You could have a lot more uh, properties and a lot of other things are planned for the future, but this is really just a prototype that works and I'm super happy that it actually works. And just as a quick proof, I only ran npm install ionic surf and that is what I see. I see a list of my entities. I can go ahead and create new Simon video, save it, and then I will see it inside of the list. Right now, this is written to Firebase. Also within here, I seem to have already some whatever book, whatever book, and you see the values that I edited in my uh, web editor are now the titles in there and all the data inside this application works. I can save, delete, or update any of the entities. All right, that was a quick introduction to the prototype I've built. If you're working with Ionic, I would love to get your feedback on it. Just check it out, kickoffionic.com. Enter your Firebase config, create some entities, export the project, everything for free, and let me know what features you would like to see as well. Coming back to our initial problem, if you don't feel motivated for your abandoned project, try this approach. Outline some of the mission critical features like perhaps a database connection or a specific operation that's really challenging and only focus on these elements at a time. Work on them, make small progress and once you do this, you will build up momentum to get back into the flow of developing your whole application. Don't worry about all the things that you have to build in the future like a website, an additional API, email integration, whatever it might be. Try to keep it really, really simple in the beginning and just make progress. This will actually help you more than anything else. I hope this helps you to move forward with your projects and if you got any questions, you always know where to find me. This week, have a great week of small wins. Build up your motivation. I'm sure that you can do it and I will catch you next week like always. So happy coding, Simon. <laughs>